Triathlete. Your favorite. Global. Elite. Global elite. Awesome. So tonight uh, we have a very special guest. Oh, yeah. Yes, oh. We have a, a, the, oh, very good. Yes, we have the ex president, oh, who is actually probably still the president right now. <laughs> We're bringing him on. Yes. Oh, yeah. I think he's a president in his sweatpants. Yeah, that's in the basement. He's in the yeah. basement yeah. controlling the little guy. Yes, that's what we pay him for. Yeah. <laughs> yes, his name is Barry Satoro. Yes, please welcome Barry. Thank you so much for having me. It's been a long time. You're so handsome. Oh, he looks, he always looks. Uh, so slick. Uh, look, oh, and, and your ears are still so cute. Yes, they're very, very cute. Yes. The better to hear us with. Yes. Yes, uh, but Barry, uh, let's dispense with these formalities. Yes. Uh, look, uh, we have important elite business to discuss. Yes. Yes, uh, there is a problem. There, there is, is a huge... problem that we must discuss. A, well, it's, it's a huge problem, and we think it might be your fault. <laughs> So look, uh, here's the problem. Huge uh, problem. Yeah, Therese. Huge problem. Therese and I will explain it. Look, uh, this maggot movement. Is it no, maggot? No, no, no. It's maggot. It's maga. Uh, maga. It? Oh, oh, this maggot. Maggot. Maga. Oh, oh no. So yes. look, uh, this maga movement. Uh, it's getting uh, bigger than ever. Yes, it's too big. Yeah, it's very. too big. We have to bring it down. Yeah, which it's means... Embarrassing. Yeah, it's embarrassing. Uh, it means that Joe Biden has not been holding and pulling up his weight. Yes, no, no, I'm really, you dropped the ball on this one. Your little puppet is out there. He is actually making this MAGA thing, maggot thing, bigger and bigger yeah. and bigger. And we need to yeah. bring it back down. We need yeah. to bring it back down yeah. now. Which means, Therese, mm -hmm. which means, Barry, that I think we need to juice him up. I think we need to give him more cocktail. Yes. Oh my God, it's Siamese Biden! It's a tad more. <laughs> You're not supposed to rub it in like a oh roll-on. Oh my God, that makes it more potent. It's way more lethal that way. What uh, did you do? What did you do? You're supposed to inject it. Barry, uh, look, uh, Torres, uh, call Big Daddy Farmer right now. We have got to reverse it. We have got to reverse it. it. Reverse uh, it. Rewind it. You know what? Think about it. You know, two heads are better than one. Uh, not in this case. Maybe not. We trusted you to put Biden up as your puppet. But look, uh, now that he has uh, two heads... So we are thinking yeah. we'll just replace him with your wife, Michelle. Oh, totally. But now listen, do you think it'll be hard calling your wife Mr. President? No, I've, I, I've already called him Mr. President-elect. Okay. I, I called him up. So how do you think she'll do? Uh, because uh, we know that she was first lady for eight years. Eight years, yes. So look, uh, she has experience uh, with this playbook. Uh, his experience over eight years uh, is he knows the job and he understands the gravity of it. Uh, he, he's, he will hit the ground running. Uh, most importantly... Uh, with respect to how to deal with this pandemic. You know, we, we, as I describe in the book, we dealt with H1N1, we dealt with Ebola. We actually, you know, set up an entire uh, pandemic playbook and a, a task force inside the White House uh, to, in the eventuality that, in fact, something like this would happen. Oh, Doris, I have an extra credit uh, bonus question for our audience. Great! Yeah. So, uh, look, Barry, uh, when your chef died 
on the beach at Martha's Vineyard. Uh, what I want to know is, did he get bloody tracks like blood stains on that beautiful beach? We did a great job yeah. cleaning it. Yeah, you guys did a great job covering it. That's that right. Up. Barry, listen, I want to say that was a brilliant idea you had when you helped write this new funding bill to those all those other countries and not our border to uh, make that bill so long. Yeah. So many words, like 700 and some words. Yeah, total, it, total snooze fest. It was like yeah. people would not Smart. take the time to read it. So it would just be like one of those regular funding bills and yeah. they wouldn't even know. It's like right over their heads. Yeah, nobody's going to even bother. And look, uh, it seems like 700 words, uh, Therese. Uh, Barry, uh, uh, that's your thing, because that uh, your uh, uh, father biography, it was also 700 pages, and I totally fell asleep. Oh, that was a smooth yeah. fast. That yes. was great. Uh, you know, I, I don't think it would have had to be 700. <laughs> great. So good work on that. So, I mean, one thing that's good about that bill you helped write for the global elite, it oh. gave the global elite way more yeah. money than that puppet son's Paintings, Joe oh, Biden's yeah. son's paintings. Way oh, more money. Oh, yeah. Oh, and look, uh, we've got our painting over the mantle that Hunter Biden painted of the mountains of Siberia. Oh, it oh, was it's fabulous. So it's fabulous. bad. So yeah, it, it was very expensive. But all I'm, the not, money, I'm not, you know what, Therese? Uh -huh. uh, I'm not totally sure it was worth the money that we paid. But all the money went to a good cause. Oh, it went back to us. Now, we know you were all born in Kenya, so when you go back, how do they respond to you? How do they treat you? They have not. <laughs> you are never a prophet in your own land. Oh, I don't know about that, uh, Barry. Uh, we could totally make a profit there. We can make a profit there, like that. We always make, we actually, we do. Yeah, we totally rake them for all their money, and, mm -hmm. it, and it works, so uh, keep milking. So now, Barry, if Trump does win in 2024, will you be moving back to Kenya? <laughs> Yes, yes. So, Barry, if you have to go back to Kenya and we have to flee the country for some reason, you know, like he gets elected. Now, uh, so your daughter had some great ideas. Do you want to tell us about that? She says, Dad, uh, you need an alias. And Sasha's like, what's an alias? And it's like, well, it's like a fake name you use, so you disguise your identity. Uh, she said, uh, so it should be like Johnny McJohn John. <laughs> I said, that, you think that should be my name? John? Yeah, she said, but... Uh, the problem is you also have to disguise your voice because it's too distinctive. So you have to, you talk really slow. Uh, you need to speed up how you talk and use a higher voice. <laughs> and uh, so she had a whole plan. Sasha agreed to the plan. We get home. They explain the plan to Michelle. Michelle says, uh, "Hun, you know, the only way that uh, daddy's going to disguise himself is if uh, he has surgery to pin back his ears. <laughs> uh, which... <laughs> I found uh, I found somewhat offensive, but it's I'm I'm generally the brunt of jokes in yeah. my house. But uh, look, uh, really, uh, don't make the disguise too ridiculous. Because uh, who would wear disguises that make them look like fools? <laughs> So look, Barry, uh, look, uh, this is no laughing matter. Uh, I wish you'd stop laughing. Yes, no, yeah. you need to fix your yeah. puppet before it gets worse. I mean, look at him. <laughs> Anyhow, yeah, listen, Barry, it was great having you on the show. Thank you so much. Thank you, guys. But oh. remember, Barry, I'll uh, say Obama. Uh, we totally are not joking. No. So goodbye forever. Oh, and it really will be forever, Barry, if you don't fix it. Yes, you understand me? You need to fix it. Calm fix down. it now. Calm down, Tori. Fix it now. I don't care. Tori. Fix it now. Calm down, Tori. See what you've done to Tori? His blood pressure is totally through the roof.
Fashion City in Las Vegas. It's fans of Jimmy Century's Fatal Original Variety Hour. Hey guys, it's Victor. And it's Alicia from Fans of Jimmy Century. Can you guys do us a mondo favor and go over and subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com forward slash FOJC TV? We'll tell you why later. Later! later.